I think you're standing on the wire. It's not. Hey, on the wire. It's not recording. Is the red isn't on? Your red's on. It's recording. Oh. Okay. Now what you want me to do? Hold on well, to the table. Yeah. Like, you know, you see the cable get away from us? Just step on it. <laughs> well, the end will be up here somewhere. Yeah. Well, I'm worried about getting flung down there on something. Go. Next stick. Next stick. Oh, I need to put some. You know, I didn't go ahead and pre uh, uh, pipe dope. Yeah. <sighs> you check good for lizards. I think there was a possum in the pipe. <laughs> Okay, you can turn it off. I may have to remember this 20 years from now. I'll forget it. When that, when that, when that thing snaps down, you don't want a finger in the way. <laughs> That. Tell me them, pipe, them well drillers don't make decent money. <laughs> well, this, they don't take many jobs like that to make a paycheck. <laughs> well, he's, uh, let's see, what is he? He's, he's 65, he'll be 66. And, and because there's no water right. in the That's why I like to right call now, the smoke test. Comes up, it's really, <laughs> don't oh, no, like I don't have a breaker on, turn it off. 20 feet up. Smoke test. I hear it, I hear it. Something. Yeah, nasty water come out of there. I had expected a lot more water than that. It's a gusher. <laughs> I thought it was going to shoot up 8 or 10 feet. <laughs> but hey, that's okay. Woo! Plenty of chlorine. <laughs> there you kill it. Okay, we just got our submersible pump installed, and how are we going to hook it up? We got to get from over here to over here, and we have to do the plumbing and the electric. And uh, before I get started here, uh, this video is for information purposes only. Uh, you should not try this at home, uh, only under the direct supervision of a licensed electrical or plumbing or well contractor. Uh, well, with that being said, um, you want to make sure you have a level, make sure your pipes are level. I've already got part of it installed here. The uh, thing comes up out of the T, and um, I was able to reuse this off the old well, and that's just a um, an inch and a quarter to one inch male adapter. And uh, by code, we have to have a check valve here. It only lets the water go this way, so no water can get sucked down the well. And this is a pressure relief valve and I'm turning it 90 degrees and we're going to get into there and I've got to install the pressure switch and I'm going to put in the hose bib. And uh, I advise you if you're going to do any type of plumbing or electrical make sure you get some uh, good quality tools and uh, get good quality stuff to work with. Alright, one of the first things you'd want to do is you'd want to put some PVC cleaner um, around all the connection points inside, uh, on the outside of that pipe and on the inside of this one.
just like so let that dry now uh, this is the way I do it when I put the uh, glue on uh, here just just watch what you want to do is put it inside and out and you kind of twist it and you kind of hold it because if you don't hold it this this thing will slide out of the the fitting right there and you can see I've made a little progress right here I put a union there and I put a union there that way I can unscrew it in case I ever have to mess around with this or remove something or something breaks just take that whole section out right there I can also take out that section right there that has the check valve in it and the overpressure and uh, what I've got here is I found an old rotten well not rotten it's broke that broke somehow pressure treated post here and I've got a hole dug and I'm just going to stick this in here and that's the beauty of when you can never throw anything out and that's what I'm going to mount my control box to and also I'm also going to secure the pipe And we've got almost the finished product here. And um, I just rehooked the old wire into the old pressure switch. I put a little deox compound, some of this stuff. Usually I use it on aluminum, but it works on copper too. Keeps it from corroding. Make sure this is grounded. Runs over here to this box. Now, you don't have to put this control box. It's it's rain tight. It's made for the weather, but. Um, the ones I've seen after a few years, they, they rot and rust away. And Anyway, I went ahead and bought this uh, PVC enclosure, and I've got it running here. And what I did is all this extra wire uh, runs down to the pump in case for some reason I ever have to lower it, like if my water table were to drop. So anyway, that's what i got going on. Just need to put a couple straps on it, put the covers on, and I think I'll be good to go.